somehow. أنت ولدت وترعرعت هنا في لوس أنجلوس ولكن والديك هاجروا من مصر إلى الولايات المتحدة. كممثل عربي، ما هي الصعوبات والتحديات التي واجهتها في مشوارك المهني هنا في هوليوود؟ This is Arabic that is really difficult to understand. My mother has a hard time speaking this. Yeah. So we're going to be taking a look at an interview with Rami Malek. For those that don't know, Rami Malek is an Oscar award winning actor that is, who is originally Egyptian. His parents are Egyptian. Uh, he was born in the U.S. Uh, this, so this interview is in Arabic, but it's in using formal Arabic. That's why when Rami listened to the guy, he's like, this is the type of Arabic that even my mother has trouble understanding because it's the formal Arabic that's usually really spoken in, you know, during formal situations, uh, speeches. An interview like this, I'm kind of wondering why they did it in Fusha or Standard Arabic. Like, why didn't you just speak to him in Egyptian Arabic? Um, I'm not sure. But this is, yeah, something I'm trying to figure out. If Rami is actually able to, if he was able to understand, like, everything the guy is saying without someone, like, translating, that's, that's impressive. I think that's very, uh, really good comprehension skills. We're going to listen to him speak now. So, uh, purpose of this video, just listening to him speak and then... Uh, pointing out kind of difference between Fusha and, and dialect, standard Arabic and dialect. And also, at the end of the video, I'm just going to talk about a, a little bit about, you know, people that um, come from Arab families but grew up, grew up in, in, you know, the, the West, whether, you know, the US, Canada, Europe, uh, and are looking for or didn't really have a chance to, to practice or learn Arabic thoroughly. We're going to kind of talk about that briefly at the end of the video. But for now, let's listen to Rami and uh, yalla. Okay, easy. Ummi abuya min Masr, ummi min Qahira. Very good so far. Abuya min Upper Egypt. Ah, almost, almost doing so well. Abuya min Upper Egypt. Hey, you know this in Arabic. Masr al-Ulya. Masr al-Ulya, Masr al-Ulya. As far as like construction of the senses and grammar, it's all correct. It's just you can hear obviously the hint of, you know, foreign accent. He, he was born and raised in the U.S., so you will, you know, it doesn't sound like, like full native speaker, someone that grew up in the Middle East. Um, there is that accent, but very good. Under, yani, you can understand his Arabic. No, no problems. Asr al Alia. Alia? Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hena. I Hena. So he's using, Ram is using, he's speaking in the Egyptian dialect. He's not speaking using the standard Arabic that the interviewer is using um, as a doctor as a doctor very easy you could have just instead of as add ka so easy way to say as a something in Arabic just add the word ka ka doctor ka muhandis as a doctor as an engineer ka muhami as a lawyer a lawyer hagat kida hagat kida very good things like this um where in Levantine Arabic, we would say something like Shaglad uh, or Palestinian, Jordanian Arabic specifically, Shaglad Zahik. Hagad Zahikida, when you hear the Ja turn into a, a Ga, this is Egyptian Arabic typically. Hagat, um, the Jim turns into a Ga. Jamil becomes Gamil. Eh, Gamil. What's up, beautiful? Eh, Gamil. Zahik. That was hard because, you know, Mumassil is, is not considered the... Okay, so now kind of he switches over to English. Um, I want to see... So let's go back here. Um, very good until the English word. Uh, and then he starts with English. Okay, they want to change, they want to change it. That happened to Masr, with Shabab, Shabab, youth or guys, the heck. The culture here in America, people, you know, they're having, have take issue with. He just switched to English, yeah, I mean, there's a part where he's speaking Arabic, but then he decided to switch. To English, like I said, like overall good, but yeah, you hear the accent obviously, and then there's just 
يعني uh, certain words they just need to develop like vocab so like the point i wanted to talk about one was the fusha versus egyptian dialect the interview words using fusha or standard arabic again this is the type of arabic that's not really used in everyday life it's used in you know during formal situation speeches it's the academic arabic there's a free mini course by the way in the description if you know the arabic make sure to check it out al arami on the other hand is responding using dialect so the egyptian dialect his, his family's from egypt so he's responding in egyptian So that's, you know, something I wanted to comment on. I was wondering why uh, they, you know, the interviewer was speaking Fusha to him. I'm not quite sure why they decided to have this, this format. Usually, you know, interviews with, that involve entertainment or entertainers, singers, artists, we will have them in uh, dialect, you know, conversational Arabic. So that's one thing. The other thing is I was, yeah, I'm, I'm really trying to figure out if they... If, you know, when the, when the interviewer says the, the, asks the question in formal Arabic or using formal Arabic, do they pause the video and then someone translates Tarami and then they cut back and, but they just make it look so seamless and smooth? I don't know. Because if they're not and he's getting everything he's saying, that's pretty impressive. Like I said, very impressive if he's understanding. But there's like one part where I'm like, did the camera just cut? I want to kind of see that. You guys let me know what you think. Do you think he's, he's understanding everything the interviewer is saying? Or do they, is someone translating, but they just, you know, they, in the edit, they make it look seamless. Like over here, listen. Like this is, this is hard Arabic. I feel like if you didn't study in the Middle East, maybe, yeah, you, obviously there's people that studied Arabic academically outside the Middle East. But I feel like, yes, if you did not take on that academic side of Arabic, it's very hard to understand this. If, uh, if he's understanding, very good. If he's understanding what the guy's saying, bravo. Anyway, Kaman, what I wanted to talk to you guys about. There's a lot of people, um, you know, that I know, friends, relatives, etc. that grew up in one of the, you know, in the, in the West, in uh, the US, Canada, Europe. But their families are Arab and, you know, they come from Arab background. They understand, uh, not necessarily Fusha, not the formal Arabic, like the interview, they understand their dialect, their family's dialect, where they're from. Uh, but they usually have trouble speaking. One, either they're shy or they don't have enough vocab to express themselves. So this is kind of a, I, I see it with, with so many people and it's, you know, I, I get it. But what I want to say, like once I feel like you get to, um, especially with, with stars and people that get to a global uh, level of fame, like Rami, it's learning the language isn't as challenging as you may think. It's, it's more of a long-term play. But if I think if you have the right guidance and you're putting in like at least 30 minutes a day for a year or two, you will, you will, will, will improve. So Rami, you are a global celebrity now. Um, it would help and especially I think at the end of the video he talks about him wanting to act in Arabic films like in Egypt so having that language skill will benefit a lot and it's not as difficult as people think you just have to be consistent and have the right guidance or surround yourself with the right group you know like-minded students you know people in the same uh, on the same boat as you you know their their families are Arab but they grew up in, in the states or elsewhere And they just want a place to practice and you slowly, you, you push each other, you, look, you grow together. The language, and I talk about this a lot, like uh, some people say, you know, I'm bad at languages, but I just think they're bad at the approach of learning language rather than they're bad. I don't think they're bad. Maybe memory. Yeah. Some people obviously have better memory than others. Some people have photographic memory. Some people hear something for the first time. They, they, they capture it. They get it. Um, but we don't have as much control over that as our time and our attitude and our approach, right? So if you come in with the right approach, tell yourself, you know what, I have a year to improve, maybe more even, but, and you stick to it, you're consistent with it, you're doing the work, um, you're communicating, you get over that hump of, of you know, not being shy and, and it's okay to make mistakes, you know, Rami over here, he's, he's talking, Ali, even if he's making mistakes or he has to revert to Arabic, but... When I'm to Rami and anyone that's like Rami, um, yani it's not as difficult as you may think to learn the language and to improve. So this is an invitation to Rami Malik. If you'd like to join my program, <laughs> all this video is just like an ad for Rami Malik. 
join my program, Rami Malik. No, but really, I'll leave, uh, leave a few links if you want to uh, check them out. Yes, we have immersion academies where we just meet once a week and we share, we, we talk about a topic, we share vocab. And right now we don't do this and we do this with Levantine Arabic, not Egyptian Arabic. But by the time Rami sees this, Rami Malik sees this, I'll probably, inshallah, probably have grown my business to um, be offering, you know, Egyptian programs as well. So hopefully, yeah, this, this, uh, this catches his attention somehow and, and he becomes a student. But yeah, very good overall. Good Arabic just needs some tweaking, tweaking, you know, and you could improve it. It's not as difficult as you may think. Um, best, that's all that we really what I want to say. Let me know what you guys thought of his Arabic pre-video, but uh, let me know what you thought. And let me know if he's, you guys think if he's understanding the Fusha or the MSA that the interviewer is using. Let me know in the comments. Let's see you in the next video.